Okay, so the healthcare system in the U.S. is trash. Yeah. It is an unbelievable garbage fire, and lots and lots of people are dying pointlessly. Yeah. More and more, I see people from all spectrums saying, in one form or another, they want socialized medicine. Whether yeah. they're saying they want Medicare for all, an expansion on Medicare, um, you know, single payer, whatever the terminologies they're using to make it comfortable. Mm -hmm. More and more people from all sides are basically saying, yeah, healthcare in private hands is not great. Yeah. Um, does that mean in some way or another that some form of socialism is inevitable for all nations? <sighs> That's a really good question. Well, is I socialism <laughs> is socialism inevitable uh, for all nations? Okay, so I guess the simple answer is probably not. I think that um, I think that if very well planned by very smart people who are very bad, um, you can have a system that is tenable on the long term, mm -hmm. despite being capitalist. Mm -hmm. um, so Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> not Nancy Pelosi. Well, um, she said it. Capitalism is just the way it is. But I wonder if there's anywhere you feel that the Democrats could move farther left to a more populist message, the way the alt-right has sort of captured this populist strain on the right wing, if you think we could make a, a more stark contrast to right wing economics. Well, I thank you for your question, uh, but I have to say we're capitalist, and that's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, that's, that's what she says, but she's also, um, you know, rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. That's fair. Um, I think people that are smarter than Nancy Pelosi um, might be able to do that. Um, I don't know the likelihood of it, but I do think that it is possible. I think that uh, up until at least like the 80s, um, the U.S. was doing a pretty good job of it. I don't think that this is a good thing by any stretch, um, but I do think that it is um, a thing that can be done. Now, on the large, I do think that as we start to see more successful socialist actions, mm -hmm. as we start to see some of the social democracies in Europe, um, as we start to see some of the, um, the communism that's happening in South America, and the effects that this is having, uh, if we can get the people educated, if we can get the people to come to class consciousness, that they are gonna all make basically the same demands. Mm -hmm. They're gonna say, we have needs, they need to be met. and. In the absence of a better solution, I think that that's the thing that people are going to go for. So I think that by and large, the majority of the world is going to respond to late stage capitalism in basically the way that Marx said. Yeah. And it's not going to be pretty.